welcome back to my channel. My name is Astro Nuggy. Today I'm unboxing a new portable monitor in my setup. If you follow me for a really long time, I have been using portable monitors for almost years now. I just prefer them sometimes over like a full size double monitor setup just because my main monitor is so large. I just feel like I don't need another huge monitor in my space. So this one is from Arzoba. It is called the G1 Game Portable Monitor. It's 15.6 inches, which is a pretty standard size for a portable monitor. Right here on the front, this is just a sticker, but it's got some specs. So we have HDR technology, ultra wide viewing angles, 1080p, ultra lightweight, which I can definitely confirm. This is 100% lighter than my other ones that I've had. It's also a lot thinner. It does kind of jut out at the back. So clearly this is where all of the special important components are, but the majority of it is super thin, very, very lightweight. So if you would need to travel with this, this would be great to just shove in your bag and it would wouldn't add to any unnecessary extra weight. It also has type C and mini HDMI. The type C is obviously for the power and then mini HDMI, which is pretty standard and perfect. I was concerned that it would be a regular sized HDMI. I already have a mini HDMI cable managed here, so that's perfect. And of course, ultra portable. I already have a little setup going right here. It's very messy, please excuse that. But this is gonna make it so much easier to just pop it onto my space and plug everything in. This is a different power adapter, but it's the same thing. It's just a USB-C to a little power brick, which this comes with. So hopefully I, I should have no issues just like plugging and playing into what I already have. Okay, so they're actually on the opposite side of how I have them cable managed. So I now need to bring all of these cables to this side. Super thin bezels too, which is really nice. leave a little bit of residue but we can worry about that later right off the bat this looks a lot brighter and more vivid not brighter vivid than quite a few other ones that I've tried what I can really tell is my previous one that I had there was a significant difference in color and vibrancy between my main monitor which obviously this is a $2,000 monitor so I have a good idea of what obviously this can or should look like so I'm gonna open up wallpaper engine and I'm gonna put this same wallpaper on here so you're at an angle right now but on camera and even when I move it's still pretty great from a viewing angle okay so we're gonna change this one what do we think so it's definitely not as bright as my main one again of course so brightness is fully up sharpness contrast is so this monitor is actually 144 hertz, which is pretty crazy. It'd be great for gaming on the go. 1080 is pretty standard, but I've never used a 144 hertz portable monitor. That's pretty impressive. So I'm definitely gonna try it out and maybe play a game, but it looks like brightness is full. So I'm gonna make you come a little bit more head on of an angle so you can get a better idea. Let's play a game. I'm gonna turn off my main one so that we can really play with this guy. I love how thin the bezels are. It's really great. Really quickly, I get so many questions about this. This is my programmable macro pad from AliExpress. I'll tell you while my computer restarts. It doesn't really have a brand name. I don't even know if that's the brand. Deb DeBrogli, I have no idea. But I tried to find an alternative on, or this exact thing on Amazon and I couldn't. So I will leave this down below in the description directly linked to the seller that I got it from on AliExpress. Hasn't given me any issues so far. It's completely programmable with the actual keys itself. So so I mapped all of this out myself and I even changed the color scheme. There is a third party like website software thing. You don't actually have to download anything to your computer, but it's a web browser. So I will leave that down below as well, or you can message the seller directly. But this thing is very popular in my setup, which I completely understand why. I love it. It's custom to whatever you need. So I've skinned old portable monitors before. I actually bought white spray paint and then I never went through with it. So I still have the paint, it's just kind of sitting there so I would love to do it to this one just because I think it would blend in really well with my setup but I don't typically use these either but for on the go if you're traveling with this a lot obviously this is a great thing to have to be honest with you I can never figure out how to use them you know my brain just like doesn't compute even though it literally came with a manual <laughs> I've just never really used them 
picked some different wallpaper so you can see the difference of how bright it is. For some reason, this particular wallpaper isn't super vivid on here. Well, it's showing up a lot darker on camera, but in person, they're nearly identical. They're obviously not identical, but they're pretty damn close and they still look great. So I don't know why it's darker on camera with this one. I've been watching a lot of Stardew Valley like speedrun videos and it's making me want to play it a lot. So I've been playing it all day and I'm constantly looking for mods. So if you have any, I have quite a few, I'm not gonna lie. I always want more options to expand the game further because there's already so many things that you can do to begin with, but want more. My game also takes a really long time to load. It's like frozen because it takes a while. Daytime. I don't know what my luck is with <laughs> with all of these uh, nighttime, rainy in the game, but you, you get an idea. that something like this existed but you think that this would be great for your needs and your setup I will have this one linked down below in the description my computer is chugging along I can't tell if it's her computer that's slow or mine because Stardew's trying to load I'm going to enjoy my weekend and continue gaming let me know what you're currently playing in the comments down below I'm always trying to look for new game recommendations I have the Xbox game pass I have steam yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video